Here's a quick video of my quail rabbit tractor. It is 10 feet long total. The runners are two by sixes, 10 feet long. And then each cage is three feet. And then the width is four feet. It's just made out of two by four cross members. And then the runners again are two by six. And there's one two by four that goes across the top there. The rest of it is two inch by four inch welded wire fencing, just folded up. I think it's a, uh, maybe foot and a half, two feet tall. I have to check that. Um, just have the feeders there on the inside. And the top, it's just a tarp. I'm gonna put a solid top on this. That's the only thing I gotta really fix on this because some of them have figured out how to escape out of the top of the tarp there. So I'll just uh, slap a new top on there. But holds quail pretty well. I've got a smaller grid on the bottom here. And I also wrapped the two by four in chicken wire, or I think this is a uh, one inch squares because they were walking right through the two by four inch even at like four or five weeks old. Six weeks old, some of them still could fit through there if they were runts. So made that a little bit smaller and then the quail did eventually figure out how to jump up and get out the top, so a solid top will solve that. But overall, it's three sections. Each one is three foot by four foot and each one could hold about 75-ish quail. And right now they got eight, five rabbits in each one. I think there's six in that one, but eight rabbits, no problem. You could put even more in there if you wanted. Eat pretty easy to move to. And I do have these things hooked up here for automatic water. I just gotta get some more tubing because that deteriorated over the winter. So I just got some bottles on them now. But I built a few of these. And then this is the one I built for the smaller animals. It seems to work pretty well. That mama in there is ready to give birth any day. So she will give birth out here on the grass. All right, that's it.